this is something you don't want to do in a newly painted boat. But thing is though, in between all these hatches, we have something called bulkheads. So drilling through 40 millimeters of glass is obviously not a problem. Replacing that glass is. So I will put the drill hole at an angle and the drain is gonna drain onto the top of the porthole, which is less than ideal. And I'm really happy with it. It's they're quite pretty, honestly. Uh, Hi everyone! We know that the timing of this project is probably not ideal and that this should have been done before getting the last coat of white primer on, but it has been postponed because of its complexity and we didn't want to make a decision and do something before properly thinking it through. On this week's episode of Building Vilda, Axel is completing another project that has been on our mind for a while solving, hopefully, the problem of water drain from the deck hatches. We invite you to watch the solution that Axel came up with and see how it comes to life. So stick around to find out more. I'm back to working on a project uh, on Vilda. This time it's the hatches again. So, a long time ago, I decided to make Vilda pretty, extra pretty, by having these countersunk hatches. Brilliant idea, right? And then I had the drains figured out. I, I would lead the drains between the hatches, collect them in one spot, put some valves on, and uh, use it as part of a rain catchment system. Yeah, also a brilliant idea, right? easy thing is though in between all these hatches we have something called bulkhead and that'll be fine in like a plywood boat or something you can drill some holes in that in some of them but this boat has some substantial reinforcements in the top uh, of each of these structural bulkheads so 40 millimeters of glass so Drilling through 40 millimeters of glass is obviously not a problem. Replacing that glass is... Because you'd have to. Uh, so you're not compromising the bucket. So, uh, what now? I have eight, ten actually, countersunk catches. And uh, nowhere for the water to go. So, so there would be pooling water around the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> and it would overflow uh, and then run off the, over the deck, which is... Uh, that's provided the, the, the hatches are closed. If they were open, you'd have pooling water and then all of that pooling water and deciding to go into the boat, which is not ideal. So, I need drains. And to make that pretty, I'll uh, have them lead internally. So... From each of these hatches, I will only add one drain. Uh, it would probably be good with two, but I'm, I'm, I'm just adding one, and that should take care of uh, the water. Unless I have some really weird trim and, and list for a long time, which I find unlikely. The height of the ceiling flange on the hatch is high enough to, to allow the pooling water from, from the inside uh, not to build up over the hatch seal before going through the design or the, the uh, drains I'm putting in. So I'm gonna try to drill a hole through this combing here. I hope you can see that. And another hole through the side of the boat without making too much damage on the inside. So 
problem solved, right? No, not quite. Uh, the hole I'll make is 22 millimeters. So I can put a 20 millimeter pipe in there and, and get it glued in properly with, without the risk of any uh, water coming into the core. So if I drill 20 millimeter, uh, 22 millimeter hole here and straight out, I'm quickly going to be hitting the underside of the um, of the deck and cutting into the the inner lamination, and that's not ideal either. So I will put the drill hole at an angle so that the entire pipe uh, sits on the inside until it passes overboard through a hole rather than tearing the whole fiber uh, reinforcement or laminate on the inside away. This is the diameter I'm using. So it's a 20 millimeter external diameter pipe. It's a bit big, but I have enough material and there's an advantage with a bigger pipe. This less, it's less likely to clog. And when it clogs, it's gonna be easier to uh, clear. Another uh, reason to have the, the pipe uh, leading the water away, other than water collection, would be to get them off the windows, the portholes, which I won't be able to do now. So when it does rain, it is going to rain on top of the, the, the portholes, and the drain is going to drain onto the top of the porthole, which is less than ideal but it's the best and simplest way i can figure this out <laughs> learning by doing right so meh. when you're building a boat like this really think about having the hatches on top of the boat on top of the deck because that makes this installation so much easier This is something you don't want to do in a newly painted boat. But the boat does need a bunch of holes in it. And these are, well, eight of them. Now I have to shape this hole so that I can get this uh, pipe through the side. Yes, we will have a not so pretty looking pipe in the interior of the boat. Maybe not one, maybe a few more. But hey, at the end of the day, this is still a boat and we can live with these pipes. We will definitely still enjoy our coffee slash beer on a beautiful sunny island with or without the pipes. And having to think through all these details at the same time with planning, progress, logistics of people and materials, crazy amounts of sanding and painting jobs, fiberglass reinforcements, and everything that had to and still has to be done on Vilda is not easy. We think this is going to work perfectly. And if it doesn't, we'll think again and make changes to it later. Big holes in my new paint. And uh, this is, uh, well, an extended version of, uh, of, <laughs> of the drain. Obviously, I'll cut this pipe here and um, glue it in place and then uh, fare this out. Glue here on the inside as well. So, this is going to work okay? No, this is going to be great. This is the way I wanted it, with the flush hatches and, and the clean decks, but... Uh, <laughs> A lot more work than is necessary. So, now that I've managed to get all these holes in the boat, uh, I'll have to fill them with some uh, filler and then some pipe and uh, make these drains actually drains. And this is going to be the last project I have time for before I have to leave the country for a while. So, uh, my plan is to get all these pipes glued in today.
all the holes are drilled the pipes are cut to length I've uh, sanded down the pipes given them a rough surface 60 grit uh, to help with bonding so what I'll do now is uh, I'll first saturate the epoxy or the balsa core with uh, some uh, unthickened epoxy just just pure epoxy and then uh, I will uh, glue the pipes in with uh, a uh, glue mixture and I'll try and do that as tidy as I can so I have as little uh, filling to do as, as possible afterwards. Do I have what it takes to make you fall in love with me? Am I the real deal or just another one? Now all of these pipes are glued in on uh, the port side here I've gone back uh, with the uh, resin a little bit set and shaped these uh, yeah the part of the pipe that's sticking out I am considering and I think it might be a good idea to not actually cut these flush uh, so I'll leave this teardrop shaped uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to call it but teardrop shape something a bulge uh, around the pipe and uh, that will actually help me protect the core even more I have uh, backfilled the core with uh, glass but uh, yeah it's difficult to get it 100% right with these angles and yeah I think I'm rather safe than sorry and I think it might not look horrible either so uh, these drains again so after a little bit of sanding this is what one of the drains looks like and uh, I'll keep them protruding, protruding like this and uh, that way there's no way that water will ever go into the core because this pipe is outside of the uh, the fiberglass skin. So, and and it looks pretty. Some places there's a there's a few gaps to fill in, so I'm filling in with a little bit of filler, and then I'll uh, sand them smooth and put a layer of uh, paint on them sending time so much fun actually this is uh, sort of fun because uh, uh, shaping little things like this is uh, quite rewarding rewarding it's almost like uh, when you paint unless you find more holes that you need to fill then it's no fun at all uh, <laughs> so back to sanding So this is uh, what they turn out like uh, and I'm really happy with it, it's, they're quite pretty honestly, uh, <laughs> I don't know if uh, everybody thinks that but I think they look pretty good and they're super practical, super functional and uh, I should have done this a long time ago but uh, difficult decisions, uh, I tend to wait I saw making a rainwater collection system is not a simple solution and uh, it would have yeah been near impossible uh, so uh, that's why it took me so long to finally decide to, to, re to do this and I'm super happy with the result it turned out much better than I thought it would they all look uh, like so little teardrop bulges uh, and uh, ready for a layer of paint I'll, I'll put on with a brush later so now the slightly more tricky bit is uh, getting these right here it's not so critical the the whole this side here is solid glass so 
So there's nothing that's going to get damaged if, if you get water in here. But obviously it's going to leak into the boat and uh, that's not great. So, so I, I need to clean these up without destroying that waterproofness. So, apart from uh, the two forward hatches, that is a wrap. I have drains. Water will not leak into the boat when you open the hatches. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing. After putting a little bit of uh, paint on these, the boat's pretty much ready for paint again. Or, yeah, light sand, the whole boat and then uh, top coat but that will have to wait at least for a while unless we can get somebody to do it when when we are off i'd love to be able to do this full time and on my own time <laughs> with, with no time pressure and, and all that but that is not the case for anyone i imagine we'll see what we manage to get done when we are gone hopefully when we get back we'll have some paint on the boat but for now at least we have drains so if you don't want to spend the extra time building one of these boats just put the deck or the hatches straight in the deck just cut a hole put them in there done uh, doing what i did great it's gonna look great uh and yeah but it's a lot of a lot of extra work <laughs>